What's going on everybody? My name is Alonso. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a primitive line even tighter. Why would you want to make your primitive line tighter, you ask? There's a couple reasons you may want to do this. The most common one is you've rigged your line, you've pulled tension into it, you've got as much tension as you can, yet for some reason you're still hitting the ground in the middle and you're not having a good time. This could be because you're a bit heavier of a slackliner or you're not comfortable rigging your slackline chest height like I have it here and you prefer to rig lower. Whatever the reason may be, when this happens you really only have two options. The first is to rig your line higher and most beginners are not comfortable rigging their line higher for very obvious reasons. And the second is to make your line tighter and that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So let's get to it. If you guys haven't already, I'm going to ask you guys to go check out my previous video where I go over how to set up a primitive kit because we're going to need to have all of this gear plus a little bit extra. Just like before, we need to set up our slack line with three total carabiners and one ring. Additionally, we're going to need two more carabiners and one more medium ring. Now, if you don't have a medium ring like this, a third carabiner will suffice. This is our tensioning system from our previous video. We're gonna redo this and make it just a little bit different. So we're gonna take one of those carabiners and we're gonna put it on the top here. On top of this last carabiner, just like so. Now again, if you haven't seen the last video, I'm gonna link it here one more time because it's very important that you're comfortable doing this before you try to do this other system. So I'm gonna de-rig now, but go check out that video and then come back. Everything up to this point is the same. We're gonna go under and over the, car the bottom carabiner on the anchor here. You can see we have one on top now as well. Now, normally on this side, we like to go from top to bottom. We're gonna switch that this time and go from bottom to top like so. So I'm coming out of the top of this. Now, this third carabiner, on the, the carabiner on the top, we're gonna go top to bottom on this guy here. And you can see now, on this side we've got four total strands, and on this side we've got three total strands. So now, we're gonna go back to this carabiner and we're gonna go from bottom to top, and we're actually gonna do the tuck right here instead of over there how we did it last time. So now that we've got it tucked in here, we've actually got a little more efficient of a tensioning system now because there's less there's less friction now because there's actually a little tiny gap between these webbings here and we've got four strands here now so you might already be able to pull a little bit tighter but where the real secret comes in is with this extra carabiner and this extra ring here so we're gonna clip one more carabiner to the anchor at the top here just like that so now we've got three carabiners on this anchor and we're gonna go from bottom to top on this now what we're going to do here, this is called a multiplier. This strand here that we just put through this carabiner, we're going to get as close as possible to this ring here, and we're going to make a girth hitch, just like this. So we're going to girth hitch the webbing to it by passing a bite through it and passing it over. Should look like that. This is the back side. I'm going to do that one more time for you guys, try to make it clear. So again, we pass, we pass a bite through the ring and then we pass the bite over the ring and behind it like this. This way it creates this girth hitch on the ring just like that. And what this is going to do, this is going to lock our ring in place like this. Now what we want to do, we want to take this webbing that we just passed through this carabiner here and now with this ring in place, we're going to take this webbing here. We're going to pass a bite through that ring and what we've just created here is a three to one. So we've got these three strands now that we're pulling. We are now able to pull three times the amount of force that we were able to pull before. So when I pull, you're going to see I can get a lot of extra tension in this line. Now, what's going to happen eventually, as you see here, this ring is going to travel to the back here. And once it hits this carabiner, you have to do something called resetting if you need more tension. So in order to reset, you simply take that girth hitch off this ring here and you move it back down close to this ring again and we redo that. So we put the, we put our girth hitch in here right next to the front carabiner and then we can rinse, repeat, put this tail through the ring and pull even more attention. Now once we're done, 
Let's make sure that we remove this ring from the system. And we can use this carabiner here as the tie off point for like before how we did our Munter Mule. So again, if you guys forgot how to do that, I'm gonna ask that you check out my last video, but I'm gonna do it really quick right here. So I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna make my loop here. I'm gonna pass a bite through that loop. I'm gonna pull quite a bit of tail. And then I'm gonna wrap that tail around and just pass it through itself a couple times. So now we've got a backup. And again, if you have a carabiner, you could take this loop and clip it here for extra redundancy. Now we can get rid of this ring. Just kidding, got it right here. And now we're ready to slackline. That's how you make your primitive kit way tighter if you need it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already. Help, help get me to those 1,000 subscribers as at the time of making this video. I'm at 820 and we're getting really close. I'm putting out a new Slackline or SpaceNet video every other week. I'm trying to get back to doing it every week, but first I need a good cue so that my mental health isn't affected when I'm behind. Also, before this video ends, really quickly want to give a shout out to all my patrons on the screen here. Thank you guys so much for your support. All donations go back into making this channel better for you guys. As always, love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.